dear students, welcome back to another video lesson. So, after nating i-discuss yung topics on measurement, so, kung i -re review lang natin, so, there are six types or topics on measurement na diniscuss natin, which are uh, measurement of length, uh, mass and weight, uh, time, angle, volume, and temperature. So, after natin yung i-discuss, so, we'll move on to another topic. So, for this uh, particular video lesson, so we'll talk about on how to translate verbal phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa. So, for our lesson objective, we will be translating verbal phrases or sentences to mathematical phrases or sentences and vice versa. So, just to give you an idea about verbal phrases. So, kapag verbal phrases, usually, nakasulat po ito in words, mga salita. Okay. And then, kapag mathematical phrases naman, so usually dito ginagamit natin mga numbers, operations, uh, tsaka letters. So, dito iikot yung ating video lesson. So, magta-translate tayo from verbal phrases to mathematical phrases and from mathematical phrases to verbal phrases. So, simulan na natin. So, let's have the, the keywords for addition and subtraction. So, normally, pag addition ang pinag-uusapan natin, yan yung mga keywords na makikita natin or pwede natin gamitin. So, of course, yung unang-una, plus, and then increase by, ibig sabihin ng increase by, nadagdagan. Added to, idinagdag. And then, the sum of, so, kapag sum kasi pinag-uusapan natin, pag pinag-add ang dalawang addends, yung result doon is, tinatawag nating sum. And then, pag more than, more, marami. So, ibig sabihin, din nadagdagan. And then, total, so, halimbawa, ina-add natin yung mga number, and then, kukunin natin yung total. So, lahat ng keywords na yan, under addition po. And then, under subtraction naman, so, pwede po natin gamitin yung mga keywords na yan, minus, so, syempre, yan, na, yun ang kadalasan nating nakikita, na keyword. So, and then, decrease by, of course, Kung dinagdagan natin sa addition, babawasan naman natin for subtraction. And then, subtracted from, ibinawas sa. Okay. And then, yung result naman, kapag pinag-subtract uh, yung dalawang numbers, is difference. Kaya ginagamit din natin yung the difference of. And then, hindi tayo masyadong familiar, pero diminished by, so, operation po dyan is subtraction. Take, take away, ibig sabihin, tanggalan. Okay, reduce by, ganun din, bawasan. And then, less than, ganun din. And then, smaller by. So, yun po yung mga keywords po for subtraction. So, keywords naman under multiplication, syempre, yung pinaka-usual na ginagamit natin, times, and then, multiplied by, okay, and then, of, and then, the product of, so, kapag multiply yung dalawang numbers, the result is product. And then, Ginagamit din natin dyan yung keyword na twice. So, dalawang beses. Double, dumoble. Trice naman. Triple, so triple. So, under division naman, divided by. Okay, ibig sabihin, yung number hinahati. And then, the quotient of, so ito po yung resulta kapag yung dalawang numbers pinagde-divide. And then, the ratio of. So, ginagamit din po yung keyword na the ratio of under division. And then, per, yung word na per. And then, out of, tsaka half of. So, lahat po ng keywords na yan under division. And then, when we speak of uh, equality, okay, yun yung equal symbol. So, we have equals, of course, yung pinaka uh, usual na ginagamit natin. And then, yung is, just the, same, just the word is. And then, it's the same as, kapareho ng yields. So, yung yields din na yan. Keyword din po yan for equality and then becomes. And then amounts to kapag pinag-uusapan natin pera, ganyan. And then lastly, yung keywords for inequality. So, there are five different symbols for inequality. So, meron tayong less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, tsaka not equal. So, yan po yung mga keywords. Is less than, is greater than, is less than or equal to kapag may guhit na sa baba. Or, pwede rin namang is at most. Ayan. And then, 
pag naman greater than or equal to, ayan ang kanyang keyword. And then, pwede rin naman is at least. So, at most, less than or equal to. Kapag at least naman, greater than or equal to. And then, kapag yung symbol is equal and then meron siyang slash, that is, is not equal to. Ibig sabihin, hindi magkapareho yung both sides. So, let's have the first activity. So, the first activity, we will be translating the following verbal phrases to mathematical phrases. So, ibig sabihin, given po yung mga phrases, yung mga words, and then, ita translate natin into mathematical phrases. So, gagamit tayo ng numbers, operations, and letters or variables. So, ang una nating operation, isa-isahin po natin yan para mas maliwanag. So, una muna is addition. So, yun yung mga verbal phrases natin nasa column 1. And then, yung answers natin, mamaya lilitaw na. So, by the way, kapag uh, tinatranslate natin yung verbal phrases into mathematical phrases, we can use any letters from the English alphabet. So, pwede natin gamitin A, B, C, D, o kung anong letters na pwede natin gustuhin or gamitin. Pero yung operation, syempre, kung ano talaga ang operation na nakalagay dun sa, naka-indicate sa verbal phrase na given, yun po dapat ang gamitin. Same with numbers. So, let us start. So, letter A, a number plus 7. So, basically, meron tayong keyword dyan na plus. So, a number, it can any be number. So, pwede natin gamitin dyan yung A. So, since yung operation natin is plus, kaya A plus 7. So, yung 7, ayun po yung in figure form. So, yan po yung sagot natin for letter A. And then, a certain number increased by 5. So, yung keyword natin dito, kaya sa addition, increased by. Ibig sabihin, dumagdag. Okay, so yung number, dumagdag ng 5, ng 5. So, sulat natin yun as B plus 5. And then, for letter C, the sum of a number and 13. Okay, so, yung isang number, tsaka yung 13, ayan, ipag-a-add. Kaya nga, nakita natin dyan yung keyword, which is the sum of. So, addition din po yan. So, paano natin yung susulat? Pwede po yung C plus 13. And then, letter D, 40 more than a number. So, paano natin isusulat ang 40 more than a number? So, is it 40 plus any letter or a letter plus 40? So, the answer, D plus 40. Okay. So, yung number, dinagdagan siya ng 40. Okay. So, kaya D plus 40. And then, letter E, 9 is added to a number. So, ibig sabihin, yung 9, yung number na 9, idinagdag siya dun sa number. So, ano dapat siya? 9 plus uh, any letter or letter plus 9. So, ang sagot po natin dyan is, yung variable or letter plus 9. I ibig po kasi sabihin, idinagdag yung 9 dun sa mismong number. So, yan lang po yung uh, verbal phrases under addition. So, let us now have the next operation, which is subtraction. So, letter A, a certain number minus 12. So, what is the keyword there? Minus. So, kapag minus, of course, we're talking about subtraction. So, a certain number minus 12, that is F minus 12. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga ginamit ko pong letters or variables, so, yung variables po kasi, yun po yung tawag na term kapag letters ang ginagamit in algebra. Okay. So, alphabetical order po yan. So, yung nauna kanina for addition, A to E. So, dito naman, F to J. So, for letter B, the difference of a number and 2. So, G ang gagamitin natin dito. So, that is G minus 2. So, yung keyword natin dito is the difference of. And then, letter C, 6 is subtracted from a number. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng confusion o yung mga students kapag ginagamit yung word or yung keyword na subtracted from. So, since letter H, yung variable na pwede natin gamitin for letter C, yung gagamitin natin, so, ano siya? Is it 6 minus H or H minus 6? 
So, kung intindi natin yung given, 6 is subtracted from a number. Ibig sabihin, yung 6 ang ibinawas dun sa number which is variable h. So, sulat po natin yun as h minus 6. Hindi po 6 minus h. Dahil, hindi naman po yung number ang ibinawas sa 6. Kundi yung 6 ang ibinawas sa number. Kaya, h minus 6. Next, 1 third less than a number. Okay. So, yung keyword natin dito is less than. Okay. So, subtraction po yung operation. And then, kung intindi natin siya, one-third less than a number. So, paano natin isusulat yon So, letter i na ang ating uh, variable. So, is it one-third minus i or i minus one-third? So, the answer is i minus one-third. Okay. And then, letter e, a number decreased by 20. So, yung isang number, yung particular number, is babawasan daw ng 20. So, napakasimple lang po ng sagot. So, we'll use variable j and then minus 20. So, yan lang po yung uh, verbal phrases under subtraction. So, we can use any keywords naman basta yung operation natin is still subtraction. And then, uh, depende kasi sa pagka-construct nung given verbal phrase kung paano natin ita-translate into mathematical phrases. So, ganun yun. Next, let's have multiplication. So, for multiplication, we'll have letter A, the product of 10 in and a number. Okay, so the product of yung keyword, kaya sa multiplication. So, napakasimple lang dito. That is 10K. Okay. Sir, wala naman po yung operation na multiplication. So, in mathematics po kasi, ayan, specifically uh, algebra, so kapag yung number tsaka yung variable, yung letter, magkatabi sila, automatically the operation is multiplication. No need to write 10 times k, just simply 10k. And then next, a number multiplied by 17. Paano yan? 17m. Ayan. Next, three-fourths of a number. So, we'll have their three-fourths isa siyang fraction. So, that is three-fourth n. Ayan. So, by the way, yung three-fourths dyan, pwede siyang three and then yung fraction bar over four. Hindi po three over four n ha. Dapat three-fourths and then separate na nakasulat yung n, yung variable. And then next, twice a certain number. So, meron tayo ditong keyword na twice. Ibig sabihin, dalawang beses. So, we can write it as 2P. Yan, twice kasi. Dalawang beses. And then, for letter E, so we'll have there twice a number. So, dito naman, 3 times a number. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, 3Q. Okay? Next. So, under division, so ito naman yung mga verbal phrases na pwede natin gamitin. Okay, letter A. 100 divided by a number. Okay, so nagkakaroon din ng confusion kapag division yung ating operation. So, let's have letter A. So, 100 divided by a number. So, paano natin yan isusulat? So, ang numerator natin dyan is yung 100. And then, yung a number na sinasabi natin will become the denominator. So, isusulat natin yan as 100 over R. So, if your answer is R over 100, that is incorrect. Next, a number divided by 4. So, basically, para siyang pinagbaliktad sa letter A. So, a number divided by 4. Ibig sabihin naman dito, ang magsisilbing numerator natin is yung number. And then, divided by 4, ang magsisilbing denominator. So, sulat natin yan as S over 4. So, ayan. I hope naging clear yung difference between letter A and letter B. Next, the quotient of a number and 7. So, ayan, the quotient of yung keyword indicating na division. So, the quotient of a number and 7, that is T over 7. Next, pwede rin po natin gamitin yung the ratio of yung keyword. And then, the ratio of a no negative number to 60. So, meron tayo dyan, negative number. So, negative integer. So, basically, kailangan yung uh, number, meron po siyang negative sign. So, paano yon? Ayan. 
negative W over 60, o kaya naman yung negative sign na naka-attach sa W is itapat natin sa fraction bar. Next, number 5. For equality, ayan, so marami tayo dito ang given na pwede. So, letter A, a number plus 8 equals negative 14. So, pag equality kasi ang ginagamit natin dito, maraming operations na po yung involved. So, yung four fundamental operations na. So, a number plus 8 equals negative 14. So, basically, we have there the keyword plus na addition ang operation. And then, another keyword equals, kaya equality. So, paano natin yan susulat? Ayan po. X plus 8 equals negative 14. So, yung a number that is X plus yung operation 8 and then equals, kaya yung equal symbol, and then negative 14. Next, 2 added to a number yields 19. So, ibig sabihin, yung 2, idinagdag dun sa number, at ang resulta is 19. So, paano yun susulat? Ayan, y plus 2 equals 19. Hindi siya 2 plus y equals 19. Next, take away 5 from twice a certain number is 3. So, take away. So, yung keyword natin doon is take away, that is subtraction. 5 from twice a number. So, ibig sabihin, ibabawas natin yung 5 from twice a certain number. So, twice, doble. And that is equal to 3. So, ayan po siya. 2z minus 5. Yun. So, yung twice a certain number, 2z. So, kung yung sagot po natin dito is 5 minus 2z equals 3, mali po yun. Dahil, tinetake away natin yung 5, hindi naman yung twice a certain number. Next, 1 is subtracted from 8 times a number is equal to 4. So, dito na naman po tayo sa uh, keyword na subtracted from. So, ibig sabihin po dito, yung number na 1 is ibabawa siya dun sa 8 times a number. And that is equal to 4. So, hindi po natin pwedeng isagot as 1 minus 8a equals 4, kundi 8a minus 1 is equal to 4. Tandaan, yung 1 po ang ibinabawas natin dun sa 8 times a number. Next, 27 is the same as thrice a number. So, malinaw na malinaw doon yung word na 27 is the same as, is kamukha lang siya, no? Thrice a number. So, thrice yung keyword natin dyan, ibig sabihin, 3 times, tatlong beses. So, that is equal to 27 equals 3b. So, yan lang po yan. Next, twice a number diminished by 9 equals 5. So, yan, yung unfamiliar uh, word po sa atin is diminish. So, yung operation po dyan is subtraction. So, twice a number. So, twice, dalawang beses. Yung number diminished by 9. Ibig sabihin, babawasan po ng 9 equals 5. So, sulat natin yun as 2c minus 9 equals 5. Next, the quotient of a number and 3 is equal to 80. Ayan. So, the quotient of a number and 3 is equal to 80. So, sulat lang natin yan as d over 3. It's because yung operation natin, yung keyword natin dyan is quotient. Indicating yung operation is division. And that is equal to 80. Next, number 6, inequality. So, in verbal phrases natin dyan, so, letter A, a number is less than negative 15. So, gagamitin na po natin ditong mga inequality symbols. Less than, less, uh, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, tsaka yung not equal. So, for letter A, ayan, F is less than negative 15. So, Yan po yung ating inequality symbol kasi less than, mas mababa. Next, yung kabalik tara na mas mababa, that is greater than. So, a certain number is greater than 8. So, yung kabalik tara niya, so G is greater than 8. Yun po yung symbol. Next, the sum of a number and 10 is at least 2. So, anong keyword natin dyan para maging inequality siya? Yung pong at least. So, kapag at least, ibig sabihin, equal ay tata equal o kaya naman maaring tumaas so paano yon the sum of a number so addition po yon so h plus 10 
And then yung operation ay uh, yung inequality symbol natin diyan is greater than or equal to 2. Next, twice the difference of a number and 3 is at most negative 4. So if we use the word uh, the word uh, the keyword at most, it means less than or equal to. So twice the difference of a number and 3. So paano 'yon? Ayun. So, twice the difference of a number and 3. So, yung number na tinutukoy natin dyan is k and then minus 3 nga kasi difference. And then, naka uh, parenthesis siya is because of the word twice. Yun po yung ibig sabihin ng twice. Hindi lang po tayo dun sa a number. So, hindi po yung twice a number minus 3. So, pag ganun, 2k minus 3 siya. So, dito kasi... Twice the difference of a number and 3. So, yung number tsaka yung 3. Kaya po naka parenthesis. And then, at most, negative 4. Yan po yung symbol niya. Less than or equal to negative 4. Next, 5 is added to thrice a number is not equal to 28. So, 5 is added to thrice a number. Ibig sabihin, yung 5, yung number na 5 is idadagdag siya dun sa thrice a number. So, 3 times a number. So, we can use 3m plus 5. Ayan. Try sa number 3m and then plus 5 kasi is added 2. And then, using the inequality symbol not equal yung equal and then may slash 28. So, I hope naging clear po yung ating uh, discussion on translating verbal phrases into mathematical phrases. So, of course, yung kabaliktaran ng verbal phrases into mathematical phrases is translating uh, the following mathematical phrases to verbal phrases. So, dito naman po, nakabigay yung mga numbers, operations, variables, or letters. Ita transform natin into words, verbal phrases. So, let's have number one, addition. So, sunod-sunod pa rin po yan. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, equality, and then inequality. So, let's have letter A, X plus 6. So, paano natin yan? Pwede po yan, mga possible answers. A certain number is increased by 6. So, yung keyword po natin doon is increase by. Next, the sum of a number and 6. O, pwede rin po yan. So, pwede rin naman kayong mag-isip ng iba pang mga sagot. Kaya lang, make sure may sense or may thought yung inyong sagot. Okay. So, depende po kasi doon sa... Uh, verbal phrases ang magiging uh, translation niya into mathematical phrases. So, kung anong pagkakaintindi mo, dapat ganun mo siya i-translate. Next, 2x plus 7. 7 is added to twice a number. So, yung 7 dyan is idadagdag siya dun twice a number. So, yung twice, kaya 2x. What else? Twice a number is increased by 7. So, kung kanina, nauna yung 7, ngayon naman, mauuna yung twice a number, yung 2x. And then, is increased by 7. Or, twice a number increased by 7. So, pwede rin naman natin tanggalin yung word na is. Okay? Next. For letter C, ayan, x plus y plus z, napakasimple lang. The sum of three different numbers. O kaya naman, the sum of three numbers. Magkakaiba po kasi yan. x, y, and z. Next, operation, subtraction. So, letter A, X minus 8. Ayan. So, yung mga keywords na pwede natin gamitin dyan, syempre, minus, decrease by, diminish by, take away, reduce by, subtracted from, the difference of. So, bahala po kayo kung ano yung gusto nyo gamitin. So, yung mga possible answers po natin for letter A. A number decreased by 8. Okay. Tama. Yung keyword natin doon is decrease by. Next, 8 is subtracted from a number. Tama po ba yan? Tama po. It's because yung 8 ang isusubtract dun sa number. Hindi po yung number ang isusubtract sa 8. So kapag ang sagot natin is a number is subtracted from 8, hindi po dapat x minus 8. Kailangan 8 minus x. Next, letter B naman, 3 minus 5x. Paano natin yan isusulat? So, 5 times a number is subtracted from 3. So, ayan. Yung 5 times a number, 5x. 
is subtracted from 3, ibig sabihin ibinawa siya dun sa 3. So, yung 3, yung nauuna. Yung magsisilbing, mean when. And then, yung subtrahin natin is yung 5x, yung 5 times a number. Next, what else? 3 minus 5 times a number. Ayan. 3. Kitang-kita naman. Yung una, yung mean when. And then, minus yung operation natin for subtraction. And then, 5 times a certain number or 5 times a number. Ayan. Next, letter C. 4x minus 1. Ayan. 4 times a number diminished by 1. Also, so, 4 times a number, that is 4x. And then, our keyword, diminished by. Ibig sabihin, subtraction, 1. So, ayan po. What else? Pwede rin po, syempre, yung 1 is subtracted from 4 times a number. So, yung 1, ibinawa siya dun sa 4 times a number. Next, multiplication. So, for letter A, 5x. So, yung mga possible answers, the product of 5 and a certain number. Yun nga naman, 5x. What else? 5 times a number, napakasimple. Next, 8 times the quantity x minus y. So, yung may nakaparentesis. So, pwede pong isagot natin dyan, the difference of two numbers multiplied by 8. Tama. Ano pa? 8 times the difference of two numbers. Tama din po yan. Next, for number or letter C, pwede po natin isagot dyan is thrice the sum of two numbers increased by 7. So, thrice the sum of two numbers. So, yung two numbers po na tinutukoy natin dyan is x and y. So, thrice yun. Tatlong beses. And then, increased by 7. Ayan. Kaya plus 7. Because of the keyword, increased by. What else? 7 is added to 3 times the sum of 2 numbers. So, yung kabaligtaran niya. Mauuna yung 7, yung idinadagdag. So, tama po yan. So, 7 is added to 3 times the sum of 2 numbers. Next, for division. So, yung letter A natin is 12 over X. So, napakasimple lang po ng mga possible answers dito. 12 divided by a number. Ayun. 12 ang magsisilbing numerator and then yung a number is yung x na nasa denominator. Next, the ratio of 12 and a certain number. Okay, the keyword there is the ratio of, indicating na division. Next, x over 7 plus 8. Paano ba yan? Letter A, the ratio of a number and 7 is increased by 8. So, yung ratio ng number tsaka 7, that is x over 7. And then, increase by 8. So, kaya plus 8. Next. Pwede rin namang 8 is added to the quotient of a number and 7. So, mauna yung 8, yung idinadagdag. And then, to the quotient of a number and 7. So, this is also correct. Next. What if yung numerator natin hindi na lang sa number o kaya variable? Expression na siya. So, 4x minus 3 over 9. So, paano natin yun isusulat? So, the ratio of 4 times a number decreased by 3 and 9. Okay, the ratio of 4 times a number decreased by 3. So, yung 4 times a number, that is 4x, decreased by 3. So, minus 3. And then, and 9. Okay, so sana hindi kayo nalilito dun sa 4x minus 3 over 9. Basta tatandaan lang dyan. Yung magkasama dyan is 4 times a number and then yung decrease by 3. And then, nasa huli yung 9. Bakit nasa huli yung 9? is because of the word the ratio of. Ibig sabihin, dinidivide yung 4x minus 3 sa yung 9. Next, let's have equality. So, equality, makikita nyo naman po dito yung equality symbol, equal sign. So, let's have letter A x plus y is equal to negative 1. So, here are the possible answers. The sum of two numbers is negative 1. So, the sum of two numbers, that is x and y, and that is equal to negative 1. Next, the sum of two numbers is equal to negative 1. Ayan, ganun pa rin. Is equal to yung keyword. And then, for letter C, the sum of two numbers equals negative 1. 
So, by the way, kapag ginamit po natin yung keyword na is equal to, hindi po siya pwedeng is equals to. So, hindi po pwedeng yung equal, meron siyang letter S. So, kung gagamitin po natin na uh, with S yung equal, so, pwedeng tanggalin na lang po yung word na is, tsaka to. Pwedeng ganun na lang yung letter C. The sum of two numbers equals negative 1. Next, 4x minus 9 is equal to 3, or equals 3. So, ayan, 4 times a number decreased by 9 becomes 3. So, 4 times a number, that is 4x, decreased by minus, and then 9, ayun, becomes 3. So, yung equality symbol natin na equal, equals, so, yun po yung word na becomes. So, pag becomes kasi, equal po yung ibig sabihin niya. Ano pa? Letter B, 9 is subtracted from 4 times a certain number is equal to 3. So, pwede rin po yan. So, yung 9. Yung 9, ibabawa siya dun sa 4 times a certain number na equal to 3. Tama po yan. Next, letter C. 2x minus 5 is equal to x plus 8. Pwede po siyang ganito. 5 less than twice a number is the same as 8 more than a number. So, isa-isahin po natin. 5 less than twice a number. So, 5 less than twice a number, yun po yung... 2x minus 5. So, kapag ginagamit po kasi natin yan, 5 less than, hindi po 5 minus 2x. Ibig sabihin, yung 5 yung nasa dulo. Binabawasan natin yung twice a number. And then, yung keyword natin dyan is the same as, kamukha lang, nung 8 more than a number. So, yung 8 more than a number, yung 8, idinadagdag siya dun sa number, which is the variable x. Or pwede rin naman po, the difference of twice a number and 5 is equal to the sum of a number and 8. O yun. So, pwede natin gamitin yung keywords na the difference of tsaka the sum of. Pag the difference of, subtraction. Pag the sum of, addition. So, let's have number 6, inequality. So, ito na po yung pinakalas. So, yung ginagamit natin dito na inequality symbols, Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or kaya yung not equal to, yung equal sign and then may slash. So, let's have letter A. X minus 3 is less than 10. So, paano natin yun isusulat? So, the difference of a number and 3 is greater than 10. So, since yung operation natin is subtraction, kaya the difference of, yung a number that is X and 3, ayan is greater than 10. Kaya yung inequality symbol natin is greater than then the word 10. Pwede rin po siyang a number decrease by 3 is greater than 10. So, yung number is x decrease by 3. Nag-minus tayo or nag-subtract tayo ng 3 and that is greater than 10. Pwede rin po yun. Next, letter B. 6x plus 5 is less than or equal to 9. Paano ba yan? Pwede po siyang 6 times a number increased by 5 is at most 9. So, 6 times a number, that is 6x, and then increased by, kaya plus 5, ayan, is at most 9. So, we can use the keyword is at most, it's because yung inequality symbol po natin is less than or equal to. Okay? So, pwede rin naman yung kabaligtaran. So, kung inuna natin 6 times a number, pwede po natin unahin naman ngayon yung 5. So, paano yun? Ayan, 5 more than 6 times a number is less than or equal to 9. Okay? So, pwede rin po naman na sagot dyan, 6 times a number increased by 5 is less than or equal to 9. And then, sa letter B, pwede rin naman yung is less than or equal to palitan ng is at most. Next, letter C, yung pinakalas. So, 2 times the quantity x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 7. So, paano yan? May, may parenthesis siya. So, twice the sum of a number and 8 is at least 7. So, twice the sum of a number and 8. So, yung sum ng num isang number at saka yung 8, that is x plus 8. So, twice kaya 2. So, maging mindful tayo sa paggamit ng parenthesis. So, usually kasi, kapag ginagamit natin yung parenthesis na yan, ganyan yung sentence. Twice the sum of a number and 8. O kaya naman, twice the difference of a number and 8. 
thrice the sum of a number and 8. Okay? And then, it's at least 7. So, the keyword there is at least. Maaring equal o kaya naman tumaas sa 7. What else? Twice the sum of a number and 8 is greater than or equal to 7. So, instead of using at least, we can, we can also use is greater than or equal to 7. So, after natin i-discuss yan, our next video lesson, so, papasok na po tayo sa pinaka-highlights ng ating high school life. So, we'll have algebra. So, hindi po tayo naturuan ng algebra or maaring hindi naman tayo aware ng elementary na algebra na pala yun. Okay, so, first, of course, yung ating video lesson muna bago tayo magpunta dun sa uh, focus ng discussion natin about algebra will have important key terms to algebra. So, introduce ko muna kung ano yung algebra na yan. Anong branch ba yan ng mathematics? And then, ano ba yung mga importanteng mga terms na kailangan natin consider? Lalo na kapag uh, lumitaw na dyan yung mga operations. So, kung yung mga computations, yung mga calculations. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.